Hello, and welcome to Rocket Poe Labs. Well, these are our Brema tomato seedlings. And as you can see, they look a little, what's called, leggy. This is what happens whenever you go... Oh, hang on, we got a visitor. Come visit Kirby. You want to help? You want to help Kirby? You want to observe. You want to help us out? All right. So, what we have here is a perfect example of planting tomato seeds in pots and then going on a 10-day vacation and putting your seedlings in front of a window. This is called legging. What happens is this. They pop up out of the ground and they want to seek the best source of sunlight. So what happens? They grow up and they want to come this way or this way and they stretch and grow really long so they can get the most sunlight they can. Well, inside my house, they stretch to the window and they stop. That's where they're facing the sun, but there is no rain, no wind. So they look like that. Well, there's only really two ways to fix this problem. One, compost them all and start over again. Well, we don't have time for that because we're supposed to plant these in about two weeks in the ground. That's when we're going to do it. But there is another. So what we're going to do is this. All these plants here, we're taking this. Here's one here. I've already started. We take and we bust out the soil out of it. Maybe if you can see it right there. See? That's what it looks like there. Empty the last soil out. Take apart the roots. Be very careful not to break them. Like, for example, this one here. If you can see it really good. Really good example of root structure. See it's clinging on the dirt there. Excellent. This one will grow. We'll plant this one. It looks good. This on the other hand, guess what? Pulled it out. Do you see any roots on it? No. This one will probably die. Because when I separated out the soil from the plant, uh, soil took some of the roots with it. So this one will probably go to compost pile. I'm not sure if it'll... it'll it probably won't even grow. So it's gone. But these others here... Like, for example, we showed you this earlier. This one will work. We're going to save this one. Put in a pot, and it will look like this. Ah, I tricked you, didn't I? So see, over here, these look all, like, flimsy. You're going, why on earth are you playing in a new pot? Or does it look a little done like that? We're taking our plants, pulling them out, and when you bury them, you bury them up nearly up to the first leaf. That's how deep you bury them. And you go, wait a minute, won't that kill your plants? No, because whenever you have your tomato plants in the garden, if you, when they get big and strong like they're supposed to, if they lay down on ground like this, if you look at it very carefully, not these, these are seedlings, but the real big plants, you will notice that you'll begin to form little roots down here at the bottom. And it's get to soil and get more nutrients. So, Excellent, good for the plant. Same thing here. The plant is deep in the ground. It will then make roots along the long stringy stem or leg. And it will then form a nice deep plant. So then we plant this in the ground. Of course, we'll break it up. It'll have some nice big long root structure. And we'll plant these in our garden in about two weeks. So, so guess what? Even here, we make mistakes, but guess what? We recover from them. We learn from them. So what we learned today, do not put your plants <laughs> in a window for 10 days while you're on vacation. Yeah, okay. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, we have another visitor. Hello, Madeline. Hello, Kirby. Do you want help? Come and help. Sorry for the trash bag. All right. Get planning. You can do it. Even with Kirby and Madeline helping. 
All right. Have a great day. Good luck. God bless you.